Okay, um, out of YouTube. The, uh, I, I had a thought today, and uh, hopefully I can get some comments and feedback. The, uh, the thought was uh, why it's so easy to get wrong thoughts into people's heads. Um, the, there's some people that I've, I've been talking to lately that, that feel, oh, so strongly about uh, information that they think is true. And uh, typically, when I ask them uh, for more information, like, uh, why do you think that? Or uh, how do you know that? Um, they're on very weak ground. And what I'm discovering is they essentially have been told something by a person who they trust. Okay, so uh, they've made an, uh, an efficiency decision to mark in their head that that person there can be trusted. And that means that after that happens, uh, whatever that person says can be assumed to be true. It would have to be flagrantly different than uh, other things that they heard the same person say in a recent time for them to notice that, oh, this guy's full of crap. But uh, that generally doesn't happen. So what what's going on now is, uh, is people that, that uh, enjoy profiting from lies are doing the old executive summary trick. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, normally in business, uh, a person hires people to do high quality work for them and produce information that they can count on to know what truly is happening so that they can make the right decisions and, and move on. So, so the executive uh, doesn't do all the work himself. He entrusts this this uh, uh, the detailed type uh, the tedium to other people that will deliver a summary that in, in essence uh, explains all the work that's been done. Okay, and that's wonderful uh, if you're an executive and you've hired people that you can trust. But if you're a person that's watching news or listening to a very convincing speaker, it's a terrible position to be in. Um, the, if you are getting the executive summary as a news watcher, there's some cause to doubt. The, uh, the best people that I've seen for this, uh, for delivering news, uh, have supporting documentation. They'll give you an executive summary just to save your time, but if you're skeptical, click through and see if you can find some of their links to their supporting evidence. Um, which uh, just reminded me of another thing. Uh, last election cycle, uh, I uh, was uh, apparently in somebody's email loops that uh, were sending me all this information about why Democrats are stupid and shouldn't be in public office. And sometimes they would have supporting links to information that, that was supposed to be the research that, that bared out their executive summary to be true. And when I clicked through their, their information, it was, it was not supporting them. Either, either the information was unrelated and they didn't spend the time to find real supporting information or the, the links, when you would read it, the evidence would prove them not true, specifically not true. And they hadn't checked uh, past the title because they're living in, in the illusion of the executive summary where they want some evidence to support a nutty claim they have, so they ask uh, Mr. Google to deliver them some information, and because their life's in a hurry, they, uh, they find a headline that sounds like it, it supports them and use that link without even, even uh, 
doing their due diligence to claim that that supports them. So most of the people that these spammy emails went around to were uh, willing accomplices. They they already were. It, it was a preaching to the choir kind of situation. The most of the people getting these emails would read it and never have to click through the links because they they were willing to believe the headline statements to begin with, the executive summaries. And uh, I I didn't. So I would I would usually respond with uh, you know the why it was false and so forth. But the the sad sad part about this is that uh, you got me taking an awful lot of time to prove one person wrong who has just been a receiver of this false information out of a tree where where his branch of the tree had hundreds of people and when he sent it to me I was one of hundreds that he sent it to so you got an enormous amount of time for me to refute one single person in this tree that's exploding exponentially to the, with a base of a hundred, you know. Uh, so it's it's almost disheartening. It makes you think that that bullshit will win, you know, because it's, it's too powerful. You, it, it grows too fast. It's like. Uh, it's like the worst kind of virus there is. And uh, the penicillin, truth, due diligence, you know, verification, that takes a lot of time and effort. You know, so, I don't know. Uh, is it is it over? Is bullshit going to win? Is it going to take over the world? I don't know. Let me know. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear feedback.